In this video, I'm going to show you how crazy advancements in technology are completely changing the future of hearing aids. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and Founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. In case you have not been paying attention, technology is changing at the speed of light and the effects of this technological advancement is impacting nearly everything and hearing aids are no exception. Sure, some of these advancements are really small but some of them are so big that they literally change the trajectory of all future hearing aids that are developed. For instance, take the development of digital hearing aids. 1996 was the first year that we saw a 100% digital hearing aid hit the market. Here we are over 20 years later and it is almost impossible to find a hearing aid that does not use digital sound processing. What about Bluetooth? Bluetooth hearing aids first hit the market in 2014, and now you would be hard pressed to find a hearing aid that does not use Bluetooth to stream audio from your favorite smart device into both of your ears. Just when you think there isn't anything else that engineers could come up with to improve the performance of hearing aids, they always come up with some crazy feature that completely surprises us all. Yet, with all of this technological advancement, hearing aids still rely on engineers writing algorithms to tell those hearing aids which sounds are important and which sounds are not important to amplify. Now, I do not want to come across as implying that hearing aid engineers are not good at what they do, because they absolutely are. But they are faced with an enormous task of having to tell a hearing aid exactly which sounds to amplify and which sounds not to. This means that hearing aids are limited based on what engineers can tell them to do. Let me give you an example. If I told you to describe the difference between a cat and a dog, how would you do it? Well, you might say a cat has a tail, it is covered in fur, it walks on four legs, and it has sharp teeth. A dog, on the other hand, has a tail, is covered in fur, walks on four legs, and has sharp teeth. You get my point, right? It might be inherently easy for you to identify the differences between a cat and a dog, but it is much more difficult when you have to describe these characteristics to someone or something else so they can actually understand. This is the problem presented to hearing aid engineers as they try to tell a hearing aid which characteristics of sound are important to amplify and which ones are not. This is why Oticon, today's video sponsor, is now using deep learning to train their new Oticon More hearing aids to do this better. Now you might be thinking, what is deep learning? Well, let me explain. Deep learning is a subset of machine learning, which is a subset of artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is a technique to allow a machine to mimic human behavior. Machine learning is a technique to achieve artificial intelligence through algorithms trained with data. Deep learning is a type of machine learning that is inspired by the structure of the human brain. And this structure is called an artificial deep neural network. Let me give you an example of deep learning with something you're already familiar with the post office. When you write an address on an envelope, if you're anything like me, the handwriting is barely legible to the point where you can hardly even read it. Post offices do not use human beings to sort letters. They use sorting machines. And these sorting machines need to recognize all different variations of handwritten letters and numbers. It would be virtually impossible for a human being to program a sorting machine to be able to recognize all of these different variations. Fortunately, engineers and programmers were able to develop a deep neural network. And then when trained with enough data, a sorting machine could become smart enough to identify all the different variations of letters and numbers. In in fact, you could make the argument that a post office sorting machine trained with a deep neural network would do a better job at identifying the different variations of letters and numbers compared to a human. And of course, it would do this much faster as well. Now that all seems great, but what the heck does this have to do with deep learning inside of the Oticon More hearing aids? It's the same concept, but instead of Oticon engineers developing a deep neural network to identify the differences between a cat and a dog, or whether or not this letter is supposed to go to my parents or not, it's trained on how to identify different sounds. How much did they train it? Well, Oticon decided to train their deep neural network with a staggering 12 million sounds recorded from all over the world. This gave the deep neural network an abundance of different sounds for it to learn what makes speech speech and what makes noise noise. So what components did the network use to determine exactly what components of sound were used to identify speech? That's the thing, we don't know. 
It might seem crazy, but when you develop a deep neural network that can learn on its own, you grade the network based on its performance rather than how it accomplishes its task. A deep neural network learns a lot like how a child acquires language. It's not because they were directly taught. Rather, most of language is acquired through interaction and exposure to language. The more you expose the child to language, the more opportunity they have to learn and develop properly. Once Oticon's deep neural network has been trained with these 12 million sounds, it has developed the ability to identify the characteristics that make each one of these sounds unique. Not only does this type of deep learning require a lot of computing power, it also required a lot of man and woman power to develop. In fact, the development of this deep neural network and the Oticon More hearing aid took anywhere between 20 and 50 employees over 500 man years to complete. And when all of the deep learning of the deep neural network is complete, all of this information is uploaded onto the Polaris platform chip inside of the Oticon More hearing aid, which makes this hearing aid one of the smartest, if not the smartest hearing aid out there. Armed with everything it's learned, the Oticon More can deliver 30% more sound to the brain and increase speech understanding by an additional 15% over the previous open S1 devices that relied on sound processing algorithms programmed by engineers. More simply stated, a hearing aid that uses deep learning outperforms a hearing aid that uses algorithms developed by engineers. When all is said and done, it is hard to know if you are in the middle of a technological paradigm shift. But it is my belief that we will look back to this moment right now as the turning point where deep neural networks and deep learning completely change the future of how we hear. Until that time, I'm just going to continue to be amazed by all the crazy hearing aid technology that's out there right now. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my website, drcliffaud.com.